intelligent bird feeder was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review. What you get with your bird feeder is all of the mounting hardware that you need to mount it to either a tree or a wall or a fence post. You also get a strap to feed through the mounting bracket here if you choose to mount it that way, kind of like you would a trail camera. You also get a micro SD card to put in the camera to capture your footage. And then you get a cable. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to put this together and then I'll show you how to use the app so you can get started on your bird watching. First thing we're gonna do is install our perch for the birds to sit on while they're eating. Next, we're going to put on our mounting bracket. Be sure that the holes on this plastic piece line up with the screw holes. The way you fill this up is open it from the top here, pour your bird seed in, and then they also provide you with two little screws to fix this lid in place so squirrels and coons and other critters can't get into your bird seed. Your micro SD card is gonna go on top of the camera. The way you get there is simply by pulling down and the camera will roll. Where it says switch, that's just a rubber slab that can easily be removed. And then you have where your SD card is gonna go. And then you also have your on and off switch. Power your camera on once your SD card is in. All right, now your camera is ready to be paired with the app on your phone, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so on the back of your box, there is a QR code that you can scan, and that's gonna pull you up to the Bird Lover app, and you're gonna wanna download it. Once you download it, you're gonna be asked to either log in or make an account. Go ahead and make your account, and then you are going to get a code sent to either your email or your phone number to verify that you are making an account. And then once you get all of that set up, you should end up on the screen. We're gonna go ahead and add device. All right, once you have accepted the permissions, you pick your bird feeder. Next, you're gonna wanna connect the camera to your Wi-Fi. So you're gonna select your Wi-Fi name and then put in your Wi-Fi password. You're gonna get this QR code and you are going to scan it with the camera on the bird feeder. And if it's not working, go ahead and take off the rubber slab again and reset your camera with the pin that is provided. There we go. All right, it says we have been added successfully. All right, once everything is connected, once you press on smart bird feeder camera or whatever you have changed the name to, you should just be able to press it and your camera is gonna come on. So now all we have to do is put some bird seed in and wait for birds to come and sit on this perch and we'll be able to look at them up close and personal through the camera. So taking a closer look at the Bird Lover app, in the top left hand corner there is an HD symbol. This allows you to change your video quality. SD is going to give you a lower viewing quality than HD, however it's going to allow your camera battery to last longer. Next to that is going to be your battery indicator, telling you how much battery you have left and if it's charging or not. If your battery does happen to die, you can take the camera out of the bird feeder and charge it with the provided cable. This can happen due to too much activity on the bird feeder and not enough sunlight to get a good charge. Next, on the right hand side, there is a volume button allowing you to mute the sound and then next to that is a button to make your screen a little bigger. Next thing we're gonna look at is the notification settings. To get there, you can go back to the home page Click on your profile in the bottom right hand corner and go to message center. And then in the top right corner, click on the gear and then you will be able to enable or disable your notifications. I have mine disabled because I have so many birds coming and going and I was getting notified almost every minute. If I had my notifications enabled, this is everything that would have came through my phone. If you are having issues with the notifications or if you're not getting alarms, there's a couple things you can do to hopefully fix that. First thing you want to do is make sure that your motion detection is on. You can turn it on by clicking motion detection on the feature screen like you see here, or you can click on the three dots in the top right, go to detection alarm settings, and then you'll be able to turn on your motion detection. Next thing you can do is adjust your alarm sensitivity. The camera is set on medium by default, but if that is not sensitive enough for you, you can turn it on high. However, I will warn you, you are going to have multiple alarms that aren't just birds. You will be notified of trees blowing in the wind, bugs flying by, and every car that passes by if the camera is facing towards a road. Then from the same screen, you can set your alarm interval, which goes from 0 to 60 seconds. 
you can control how long the camera records, ranging from 15 to 120 seconds, and you can also enable early termination, which will cause the camera to stop recording after 10 seconds if nothing triggers the camera, so you don't have a bunch of empty footage. Now looking at the bottom half of the screen, this square button is going to flip the screen sideways so you have a larger viewing area. Next is your camera, so you can click on that at any time and then that picture will be saved in your gallery along with any videos that you take. To record a video, simply click on the recorder and then press it again when you are done recording. Next is my favorite thing about this app. This button here identifies what bird is on your bird feeder and will take you to a Wikipedia page and tell you all about that specific bird. You can also identify birds that you have captured in your gallery by clicking on the little bird in the bottom right corner. On the Wikipedia page, in the top right hand corner, there is a heart that you can click on. Next, go back to your feature screen and click on collections and that Wikipedia page will be saved in there. Next, the playback button allows you to watch everything the camera has recorded in order and from playback you can take pictures and videos as well as download footage. The share button allows you to share your camera with someone else so they can watch the birds on their own device without needing their own camera. Again, clicking motion detection will just turn it on or off. You can adjust your device volume. And then this microphone button allows you to talk into the camera. And then this is your siren button, which will scare off any squirrels or other critters that are trying to get into your bird seed. Next, this message button is where you can see all of your notifications. You can change what day you want to look at, and you can also change what you're looking at. You can either look at everything the camera captured or specifically just birds. Then if you want to get rid of anything, you can click on edit and select what you want to delete. If you want to remove the time watermark off your screen, click on the three dots, click on basic function settings, then you can enable or disable the time watermark there. If all of this wasn't awesome enough, this camera also supports night vision. Click on the three dots again, and your night vision will be found under the IR night vision. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about getting started with the Bird Lover app and the Smart Bird Feeder. And I hope that this video and tutorial help you become more familiar with this product. It's tons of fun being able to watch birds in my yard from wherever I'm at, and I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do.